We didn't grow up with AIDS, but AIDS is very real now, and it's sad when you wake up, when you lay down for 5, 10, 15 minutes or whatever and wake up with death. The threat of AIDS and teen pregnancy is only part of the reason Cece Michaela is so passionate about purity. Abstinence is a very personal subject for her. Cece has worn a purity ring for eight years now. She created the God's Girl Network to teach young girls the benefits of living a pure lifestyle. And she recently started the God's Guy Network to encourage young men to be abstinent too. Each year in June, hundreds attend the Hollywood Retreat in Atlanta, Georgia. We have the girls all ages and it's just wonderful to come together and to be of like minds and to know that you're not the only one and that everybody's not doing it. The retreat culminates in a purity ceremony where each person makes a vow of purity to God. Explaining in the Bible, of course, how important a vow is and that you, you, you don't want to break it, you know, and it is a serious thing. Everyone goes home with a purity ring and accountability partners because that's really important when you're living the life of purity and abstinence to have that girlfriend there for you to say, hey, because uh, you're going to get tempted. Things are going to happen. The world is still going, you know, going on. The God's Girl, God's Guy Network is also committed to helping parents teach their kids about the dangers of premarital sex and the rewards of waiting. Well, the wonderful thing about God's Go Network, it really does open up lots of cans of worms. <laughs> um, we're very raw. We're very real. We don't hold anything back. We don't sugarcoat anything. We go over all the diseases. We use the Word of God and let them know this is how God feels about you. It doesn't matter what other people say. It's about what God, you know, thinks about you. We make it very real so that then when they get home, they're like, Mommy, guess what we talked about? Guess what she showed me? Is that true? Why didn't you tell me? And it's like, I didn't know how to tell you. And I just... I I didn't think you were ready. They're ready. They're ready because the world, the world is, they don't sugarcoat. The videos are out there, the radio, the music, the fashion, you know, the magazines, the billboards. I mean, it is just like, they're just inundated with so many images and lyrics and, and verbiage that you can't hide it now. Even if you said, well, we don't do that in our home, you can't escape it. So we've got to really get the children, get the word of God in them. And that's their sword. That's how they're able to fight against the evil of this day. How do you deal with girls who take the vow of purity, but then they fall? Mm -hmm. What do you say to them? And what would parents say to their child in that situation? Right, right. You know what? It's just like the word of God and Jesus. You know, you show love and mercy and grace. You get back up. You don't have to stay down there. Things are going to come your way. Things are going to happen. We teach them to get back up. You know, we're not so strong on them that it's like, you better not ever because things are going to happen. We hope and we pray. And a lot of them do stay strong and we're so grateful for that. But things do happen. Some of them do get pregnant. Some of them, they do fall. Let's get into the Word. Let's get you right back into the Word of God. And I got to reinstill some things. And we got to rethink and relearn and undo. And you just keep teaching. Love on them, hug on them, because you're going to lose them if you fuss. That's the problem. So many mothers are throwing them out. And for parents, if you're listening, you know what? Please, it's so much pressure on these young people. Now it's more pressure on them, even from the parents. What are the neighbors going to think? She's like, Ma, I'm pregnant. Right. What are people at church going to think? Yo! Oh, you're not going to church. We're going to have to go get another church. You know what? We'll just, we'll just not go for a while until this is over. No, go. Lord knows if you need God any more, any time that you need it now. Cece looks forward to getting married and raising children one day. If she has a daughter, she plans to pass on her purity ring and tell her this. No one gave me, you know, this talk, but the things I've been through, the pregnancy scares, the possible STDs, the emotions, the heartbreak, I want to talk to her about that, you know, and let her know that it's no joke. And once you open up that door, all you got to do is give Satan an inch and he will take a mile. And talking about AIDS, talking about herpes, I want to tell the things that never go away, that there is no cure for. And if that's what you want, you know, you got to deal with the consequences. I want to talk to her about abortion. And that some of these things will haunt you for the rest of your life. You know, that it is a baby. I want her to know it's a baby. And that it does have a life. It has a purpose and a plan. Because that's what the Bible says. And it's okay to be holy and righteous. And it's okay to be covered and classy. You are okay with God being, you know, the lover of your soul and, and the only one in your life. It is beautiful to wait.